going on, everybody? It's your boy FHG Gonzo here. Right now, I finally got my Elgato 4K60 Pro. So, I'm going to be installing it on this bad boy. So, I can finally play a 4K PS4 Pro on stream with my 4K baby here. You already know. So, I'm going to get to it. So, stay tuned to the next video. So I'm just gonna open the package. Don't know why I ended the last video. So I'm gonna just open it if I can. I should just freaking take the plastic out before I do anything. So. Ah. Damn it. There you go. All right. Kind of well, bent it on here. So I came. Jesus, it's so hard to do it with one hand. Open that up. Get that open. Get that open. Alright. So I'm gonna slide it out as it does. This is smooth. And of course. Get some keys. Open with a seal. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. There you go. There you go. All right. Ta da. <laughs> Wow, this thing's huge. Let's see, I gotta put it right there. I think it installs right where the graphic card is. I have to install, if I have space. Oh shit. I hope, hopefully I have space, man. So you, of course you get the Elgato itself. Good. And you get an HDMI that I really don't need because I already have one. And that's it. So that's the baby right there. Not bad. Let's get another graphics card. <laughs> Alright guys, the next video I'm gonna show me installing it. Alright guys. Took my glass off. I took my uh my bracket to hold up the this, but when I took it off, it made no freaking difference anyway. It just this one's a pain in the ass when that's leaning a little bit. Um, but to like two seconds, you see right there, I installed it into the graphics card slot. You see right there, in and out. Very simple. Pushed in, clicked all the way. Now all I have to do is turn it on. Test it out, hopefully it works. So I'll show that in the next video. Like I said, guys, it's very simple. Took off one of the brackets so you can have the hole open for this. Slide it right into your graphics uh, card slot. And you're good. So, next video, I'm gonna test it out on the screen. All right, guys, I have it on. But so far, it was only displaying on one screen. It made everything so big to like 1080. I may it's only reading off for that. It just weird shit ever happening right now. So um I restarted it. Hopefully it works. I got trying to get both screens up. So hopefully the next video I have some answers for you. Alright guys, this is the update of my Elgato 4K 60 Pro. I was telling you guys I had a problem from displaying both screens. I actually fixed the problem, so the only thing I did, and I actually YouTubed it. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. I uh, just uninstalled all my drivers for GeForce. If you have a GeForce experience, you have problems, that's the main reason why your monitors are not displaying because it's an error on your drivers. So I uninstall all the old drivers from here. Oh, yeah. Uninstall, install freaking application. Where the heck is it? Right there, see. I installed everything except for the G4 Experience 3.14. Uh, 
as you see it there. I installed everything except for that. And then after I installed it, I restarted the computer. I went back, turned it back on, of course, restarted, and I installed the drivers. And everything fixed just right. Look at that, perfect. So, having that problem, that's how you freaking fix it. So, alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little ending of this video of my Elgato 4K60 Pro. So, I can finally stream my freaking Spider Man on my uh, 500 million edition freaking PlayStation. Still installing now. It's freaking taking like a freaking an hour already so far. <laughs> Long as hell, I install the damn disc. So, uh, there will be more videos. I'll show you another update of my program. Hopefully everything is fine after this. And yeah. So get ready for Spider-Man tonight, baby. I'll see you guys later.